Hello everyone, Rich here and welcome to how to use trading view part 2. If you haven't watched the previous video I recorded like one year ago, which is part 1, I covered the basics like how to use the drawings, add indicators, change the template and so on, I'll attach it in my bio in case you want to go over the basics first. For today, part 2, we'll go over more advanced stuff like indicators, templates, uh, alerts, bar replay, layout, watch list and so on so let's do it for indicators you know that you can add the indicators right here you can search for it like moving average for example and you can add it like this we already went over it for today i want to go over the layout as you can see i have my r here which is rich which is my personal uh, my personal template you can click on it and you can see that uh, like it automatically loads the templates that you already saved how to save it it's very simple let's add for example the moving average let's say this one and let's add uh, macd let's say uh, this one right and i want like to save this template instead of going and add them all over again whenever i need them i go here and i click on save indicator template i for example name it video like tv because like we're going to over this example now and these are the indicators i click on save and now you can find it right there and you can make it as a favorite it will appear right here so when i click on r for example which is my personal template it appears like this and when i click on v the macd and the moving average you've added will appear automatically that's it like very similar to when you go over like the template of the chart like the color of the candles and so on you can go here and you can go for color theme you can click for light gray and so on for example if i click on dark it will appear like this right so that's it let's get back to these ones and anyway let's delete the indicators to keep the chart clean and to focus on the other uh, learning stuff that's it for the indicators template and of course for now i will not need it so i remove it from here and i can also delete it right like this for the alerts it's very simple you know that for example if i want to buy bitcoin after we break above the 22k i can simply hover here and click on this one and i can add the alert right there and i, I can simply uh, edit it or delete it at any time for example i wait for a bit for it to be active and it will be colored in orange so i can click or can, can do right click on it i can click on stop edit remove so for example if i want to make it 25k i click on edit and i go for 25k right and i can choose if i want it to like like go off the alert will go off only once or every time it hit the 25k and i click on this one i can also add uh, edit i can also like, like add a message so for example bitcoin crossing 25 Okay, let's say I want to make it smaller and buy now, for example, right? So it, it depends on you or like start uh, to look for buy setups or take profit, right? So like you can choose the message that you want to see once you get the alerts. And uh, that's it. You can also remove it or you can also extend it so to see it like this. But I personally don't like to see these levels. I I like to keep it clean so i remove the extended lines anyway for now i don't need this alert right here so let's remove it and at any time you can see all the alerts that you've got for example this is alerts log which are the alerts that went off for me today i can also like delete it or like uh, like this or i can also check all the alerts that i've got i've got so far 396 alerts out, out, out of 400 available I'm, I'm i'm a premium subscriber on trading view so i got 400 it depends on if you are pro or pro plus it depends on how many alerts you've got you can also see the limit here and you can see how many alerts you've got active for, for example on jpm i've got an alert i can click on it and i can see it like this right i've got this weekly uh, channel as you see and i'm looking for buy setups around this area so i want to know when jpm will approach this area for example i wanted to make it a little bit higher so let's go for edit and let's go for 105 right because price now is going flat so it will like when it go down it will go down in a flat way so it will that it might not be able to reach the 100 anyway uh, that's it for this one and i posted this analysis when we were around this area i guess you can check my my training view 
and you can scroll down and you can check all the alerts that you've got for example i've got one that let's get a crypto example or like, like one for forex uh, like for example i've got one let me check over okay and yeah for btc i've got one around 16k just above the zone as i as i showed you like a couple of minutes ago so that's it let's get back and click on ctrl z z z to get our first chart which is a clean one to focus on the learning stuff that's it okay so now we are uh, we are checking this one okay for the bar replay we've done the alerts bar replay you can always click on bar replay and it's very good for those who i would like to back test so you can click for example right there and you can go for click on play and the chart will start um, moving and you can choose the speed so you want like 10 uh, 10 x which is like 10 candles or one candle per second or like one uh, upd if you want to call it for example it will get slower okay and you can at any time click on pause right and you can click on this one for example and you can go back a little bit more and when you are done with the bar replay you can click on the x for example here i want to look for a cell uh, when we break below this one so i wait for it let's get to the 10x click on play and let's wait for it okay but it's not broken we've got the range right there so it's broken so i want to go for for example i had my range previously that i'd like to give you an example and i want to go long right uh what, what is my list i don't know anyway let's go for this one the stop loss is below the previous low and i want to target for example these previous lows and i click on play and i can see the result it's very very important for those who would like to like i get, get, get a practical feeling about their trades anyway that's it for the bar replay let's click on x and for example uh, like and, and like this is the undo instead of clicking on ctrl z right you can click here and you can click on this one back uh, for the uh, uh, i guess like for uh, for the re yeah for like control y for the redo okay uh, now for the layout you can click on this one which is you can see that my layout is one single chart i can add two charts like this if i want like i want to compare for example uh, bitcoin to us 500 or i want to check bitcoin daily chart and btc for example h4 chart right i can choose bitcoin here and go to h4 and now i can see the big picture right from daily you are bearish around this supply zone and you are currently here and i've posted one on trading view if you remember like very similar to this one that around daily and weekly you are here if you break it up the bulls will take over if you break below this low from h4 the bears will take over and you can also choose like the, the, the if you want the shape that you would like I personally like the horizontal, uh, like sorry, the vertical one. You can always go for three or even four screens. I personally uh, only go for this one, like this. But for today, let's keep it simple and keep this one. <clears throat> sorry. Uh, let's move over to layout, right? So for the layout, for example, I have drawings on BTC, uh, as you can see here, but like I, I want to go over and do an analysis for BTC on, on, on like this particular ticker, but I, but like I don't want to delete these drawings, and I want to draw like like like, like for example a different view, different analysis for like different for like for example strategy. So instead of deleting these ones or like save the template and so on, you can simply create create a different layout. For example, I've got these ones as you see, and you can always check. Uh, like all, all my layouts for the bigger list for example like if i click on rich 2023 i click on it uh, it will let me say first okay if i click on it, it uh, okay give me oh, okay okay sorry I, I i i can't i can't really now change it because like i'm i'm recording okay so if i click on it like this new different layout will open so like i guess now i, I wouldn't be able to show you the example uh, because like i'm recording on this particular window okay uh, but let's go over it anyway uh, like, like for example i want to share my layout like to my friends i simply go here and click on sharing and i can simply like provide them with a link copy link and i paste it uh, like like for my friends if i click on it they can 
they will be able to see all my charts for this particular layout. And this layout includes, as you see here, okay, okay it's not showing. Let me click on this layout. Uh, yeah, it's not showing. It includes all the drawings for all the pairs or like the assets that I drew or I, I did analysis and drew the drawings for all the pairs inside this layout. So for example, if I go for UDSD and you can see drawings, it's also inside this layout. Okay, I can always create a new layout or, I, or I, of course I can rename it. I can make a copy of it. Okay, and I can export chart data and so on and again go for a new layout okay uh, so this is it you click on new layout you create one yeah you name it and like you can shift between like like two layout it depends on your strategy and if you need a different layout or not uh, that's it for this upper list for now of, of course like later on if you want for part three we can go for forex screener a pine editor strategy tester rain panel and so on but for today i want to focus on this upper row and this one on the right this this is for the alert uh this one is for the watch list which is a very important uh, feature as well for the view you can always click here and you can see like like how how your watch list is divided uh th this is it Okay, if I click on X again, let's wait for it. Okay, fantastic. So for the watch list, as you can see, I've got this one uh, inside this particular watch list. I've got which is called uh, video. Like this is for the test, uh, seventy-three uh, instruments. I can add sections inside it, uh, which you can go here for the three points. You can click on add section, and if I can like scroll it up. I can go for like for example all altcoins like this and i can add a different one as well for example i can go for this one like new altcoins right and it depends on like what you would like to write that's first second uh, uh, like yeah second like you can see like you have, have the color here and, uh, and it depends on you on how, how, you, how you'd like to use it uh, for the color here you can click on this one and you can choose the color that you would like to see uh, for example i have this one in light blue i have these ones in dark blue and so on uh, like now for example i want to add this one btc usd for this ticker white bit inside this list i can simply go here click on plus add symbol and click on btc search for it and i can scroll down find it and click on uh, plus I've added it or I, I can simply remove it from here and also I can uh, like move it up or down what is it that's it I can move it for example till this area here okay and I can uh, as mentioned remove it like this and I can also write comments for this particular one I can scroll up like this add notes and I click on I'm waiting for a break above for example 25k okay so i can add a note right there so like every time i check my chart for for btc usd i have this note where is it uh it should like let, let me search for it <laughs> I, i've lost it anyway okay and for example i can add a note for for like for example litecoin i can write uh waiting for a break above the 100 which is currently a resistance right and i can, I can also like add a picture right this so i can you can see like, like, like this here as a note that you have a note right there so you can check it out okay um let me see where's our btc uh anyway let's get back to our btc because like, i want to show you something for this one and let's remove it now i can i can right click and I can go here, add this to watch list. You can see that it's only now in WB, but I want to add it to this one, video T, video TV, sorry, which is this one. I can simply click here and you can see that it's now right there. Or can I remove it? I can add it to a different one. Okay, and, and like very, very simple. Okay, I've added it here, for example, and now let me show you an example for the notes. That's it. So this is for the notes for this one while this is the note for uh, like a LTC. And uh, again and again, just like the layout, I can share it with my friends. I click here, I click on share list, I copy the link and I send it to my friends so that they will be able to see uh, this list. 
right? And I can, I can, I can, for example, rename it uh, for TV example like this. And now it's, I change the name, and I can like add these, add these like like uh, the, uh, these columns. I personally like to see only the price of it and the last change for the past twenty four hours. I can of course extend it like this, and you can also add, for example, the volume. I'm like I don't want to see the volume. I personally don't want to see it. Um, the change in general, you can also see it. It's added right there, and you can make it a little bit bigger, like this, and so on. Okay, and for the volume, it's right there. I personally don't like to see them. I only am interested in these two last price and the change in 24 hours. And uh, yeah, and if you want to see the logo, you can also click here. And now I don't see it. I personally like to see it. And for the ticker, you can see it right there. And, and that, that's it for the description. Uh, and of course, like if you click on clear list, it will do the delete everything in this list. That's it. So that's your, your, your added. And you can create a new list by simply clicking here. Okay. You can click on import list and you, if you want to send it to a friend. But I personally like to simply go for share list like this and send the link instead. And, and um, uh, yeah, and you can create a new list. And for example, let's name it TV2 and click on save, it's now empty. I can start and start adding to it. That's it. I can click on play. I can add USD. I can add GBPJPY, uh, for example, this one. I can uh, add Apple, right? That's it. So this is my list. And I can at any time delete the list by simply clicking on the X. Yes, that's it, okay? Um, and what else? Now we were on TV example. Okay, that's it for the for the watch list. And if, for example, if I, if I want to share my opinions for this one, which is a new feature, but Trading View is Trading View Mines, and I can click here and I can see BTC USD Mines. If I'm I am on, for example, uh, as mentioned previously, on Litecoin. Uh, what is Litecoin? That's it. Okay, and I click on mines, I'll be sharing my ideas on um, on like LTC. I can also sh send the picture. How to send the picture is very simple. Let's, for example, add this one, go to mines, and uh, you can simply go here and, and click on copy chart image. Okay, if you click on save chart image, like, like, like the image will be downloaded uh, to, to, to your end, to, to your PC. Uh, if I click on copy chart image, you can see that chart image copied to clipboard. I can go here and paste it. Okay, let me. Uh, okay, I can't find the paste. Let me try it again. Maybe because like I'm recording. Copy chart image, paste. Okay, I'm not, not sure. Yeah. yeah. Maybe because I'm, I'm recording, I can't really type these ones. But you got the idea. I can share my thoughts here and so on. Uh, oops, yeah, I, I, I guess I should go for this one for the chart. Okay, that's it. Like, like it will take the Snapchat snapshot uh, for this one. Uh, I don't really have much time. I still have like one minute. So I'll try like to make a summary about what we went over. And if we have time, I'll go over like one more. If you like this content, let me know to make part three. Maybe go over this column right here. And like, it's also like, uh, very good if you want to add a tweet right you can add a tweet right there and you can add it to the chart you can add uh, for example an image like this you can choose the image that you want to add for example ch oops uh, chz like this and uh, i add it like this okay and I, I i can make it for example uh visual order bring to front it will appear in front of the chart or i can make it sent to back it will appear be like behind the chart uh, that's it and i can also like share my previous idea for example uh, my previous idea on bitcoin i'm not really sure like because like i because like, i have to click on on the previous idea copy the link and send it here it will automatically appear also on the chart so that's it for today we went over uh, indicators layout alerts, bar replay, layout right there, and the watch list, and so on, and the mines. That's it. I still have 20 seconds. Best of luck, and I'll see you hopefully on part three.